Well, hey guys, this is my first official shave video, I guess. And today I just wanted to do just a good, clean shave. So I'm going to use the Parker 46R, it's one of my favorite razors. I'm going to use an Omega brush. Can't find any information on the red one, so if you have anything, let me know. And then, I've had soaking in water, and it's actually funny. On the back it says, sorry, this is uh, Synergy Coconut Bay. It's one of my favorite soaps. But on the back it says, performs best at 95 to 140. And I was talking to my dad, and he talked about how they used to soak their, or soak their mugs before they shaved. So I started doing that with this, and I get really good results with it. And then I learned this morning that it's called blooming. So basically you soak it in water as you, sh as you shower or whatever, and you get better results. It's actually really awesome. Um, again, I love the soap. But uh, I'm going to get started. Wet my face. I tend not to use a lot of water. And then knock out some of the water on the brush and then start my lather. Now as you notice there's a crater in the middle of this puck. I've been handing out a lot of samples and everybody seems to really love this stuff just as much as I do. It's really a great soap. It's a great company. Can't wait to try more. It smells really good. Okay, I believe that's loaded enough. Make sure my face is still somewhat wet and then start to lather. Working on about two days worth of growth here. I have a very sensitive neck, but I can shave every day if I wanted to, now that I actually know how to shave, <laughs> thanks to YouTube videos and just trial and error. And I used to use disposables, the five blades, and I hated it. My whole face usually broke out. I just have very sensitive skin. Go a little bit more. Make sure I have just a tad bit of water. Good enough for the first pass. A Parker. I usually start on the right side more so because I'm just right handed. I always hate shaving my neck.
light's kind of a little weird. Hello. Nine times out of ten, I do cut myself. First pass, let me clean it up a little here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. That was a rather dry shave. Second pass. Like many, I go across the grain. And then on the third pass, it's all touch up work. Sometimes I go against, sometimes up, sometimes down. I tend to go down on my neck on all the shapes just because it's sensitive. Now a little bit more water. Not very good on my left hand, so. I should probably practice on that, but. Wait, I got some cuts down there. Nothing an Allen block won't take care of. Sometimes I don't have to go a third pass, but sometimes I do. Or well, not really a third pass, but a touch-up pass. So what I usually do is keep the brush in my left hand and shave with my right. And on my face I go against the grain. And right 
here on the side I go against the grain. Sometimes I guess it depends on how everything's performing. I'm sure just like a lot of people, I can go up here, but right here, it sucks. So I tend to stay away from going up right there. All right, let me clean up and see if there's any other spots that I missed. Hmm. All right, there's such a hard spot for me. I usually just leave it. I hate leaving it, but hair grows out this way. And if I go this way, it gets really irritated. So I tend to just leave it alone. For obvious reasons. But I'm happy with that. We'll clean off real quick. dry off some. Alright. Now, I'm going to use the Nivea for Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. It's one of my favorite. I love the scent. for me, which I'm sure it does for a lot of people. And it smells really good. I don't know how to explain the smell, but I didn't use an Allen block. Those nicks seem to be taking care of themselves. So, we're good. But, uh, I guess that's my first shape video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Uh, I'm hoping to get some more soaps here soon. And uh, I still have a lot of stuff here that I need to do reviews on. So, hopefully it'll keep me busy for a while. And, um, the more subscribers I get, um, I'm going to start doing giveaways. I have another tech channel, uh, or a tech channel on YouTube, it's called Tech Runner. And I do, I did a giveaway, and I got good results off of it, but more specifically, someone that was subscribed to me got a wireless Bluetooth speaker, so that's pretty cool too. But I figure I'll do razors, um, maybe even soaps, brushes, just stuff like that, stuff that you would use and would like to have. But um, subscribe. Um, I'll probably start doing the giveaways in a couple months or so. Um, just want to get a good amount of subscribers so that it's worth it for everybody you know that's subscribed to do giveaways. But anyways, um, thank you for watching.